This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. which is introduced by the Dalton. In the year 1803. According to this law, if two elements can combine to form more than one compound, the masses of one element that combine with a fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers. Okay. Uh, law of multiple proportion is stated that if two elements can combine, okay if two elements elements can combine to form more than one compound the masses of one element that combined with a fixed mass of other element of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers are in the ratio of small whole numbers okay so this is the statement what uh, third one third one it is a law of multiple proportion third law if two or more compounds okay just by giving the example so that you can understand it easily hydrogen combines with the oxygen okay to form a two compounds namely water and hydrogen peroxide how so consider this as a hydrogen and uh, when it is combined with oxygen which gives a water okay so this is a 2 gram of hydrogen okay so when it is combined with 16 gram of oxygen so which gives a water water is of 18 gram combine this 2 gram and 16 gram like hydrogen and oxygen only here the fixed mass is 2 gram okay of hydrogen and here 32 gram of 32 gram of oxygen so which gives 34 gram of hydrogen peroxide okay hmm. now you just observe what i am explaining you if two elements can combine two elements means hydrogen and oxygen are the two elements okay to form a more than one compound means here hydro here also hydrogen okay here also oxygen so but uh, they, they are giving us a different okay what they are giving different compounds here water it is giving here hydrogen peroxide it is giving more than one compound the masses of one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element okay so two elements combine to form a more than one compound correct more than one compound hydrogen and water and hydrogen peroxide the masses of one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element here masses of one element means consider oxygen okay oxygen here which is having a 16 gram here which is having a 32 gram correct okay with combine with a fixed mass here 2 gram is fixed hydrogen mass 2 gram here also 2 gram here also gram so it is fixed other element so they 
fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers okay so this can be written as so i will write here uh, this can be written as uh, here the masses of oxygen is 16 gram and 32 gram which combine with the fixed mass of hydrogen 2 gram correct so bear a simple ratio that is uh, 16 is to 32 which gives 1 is to 2 so this is the ratio okay so this is about law of multiple proportion next next law is gay plus plus x law okay what he is saying in this law this is the fourth law please note down what i am writing here uh, so that uh, it will be easy for you so just uh, in that uh, just remembering this example means uh, just see by remembering this example you can say the statement okay here if uh, two elements uh, combine to form more than one compound two elements they combine to form more than one element here that combined with the fixed one element is combined with the fixed element okay fixed mass of the element so uh, are in the ratio of whole numbers okay so this is the ratio next point next one is gay less cats less x la okay in this this was given by gay in 1808 he observed that when scientist gay okay he proposed and he also he proposed the law in 1808 okay his law so he observed that when gases combine or produced in a chemical reaction when the gases uh, what when the gases they are combined and produce they are combined or produced in a chemical reaction they do in a sample ratio by volume provided all gases are at same temperature and pressure okay so that i will explain you uh, how it will work does a hundred ml of hydrogen consider the hydrogen which is of hundred ml okay hundred ml of hydrogen when with uh, with combined with the 50 ml of oxygen oxygen to give a hundred ml of water which gives water is of 100 ml okay so there's the volumes of hydrogen and oxygen which combine together so uh, the bear a simple ratio which gives a simple ratio of 2 is to 1 this is a simple ratio so just you should remember the uh, statement then you he discover of uh, integer ratio in volume relationship he is actually the law of definite proportions by volume the law of definite proportions started earlier was with respect to mass okay the gale law was explained properly by the work of avogadro in 1811 so this is about the gas law next uh, here next concept is avogadro law the next law is avogadro law in 1811 avogadro proposed that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules he proposed his line in 1811 okay so in that he explained that avogadro proposed equal volumes of gases equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules okay uh, first to consider the example for this then you will understand it if we consider again the reaction of hydrogen okay reaction of hydrogen and oxygen again oxygen to produce what water to produce a water uh, we see that two volumes of hydrogen combine with here see mm, see this two uh, 
two volumes of hydrogen here con just one volume of hydrogen and one volume of hydrogen so that which gives a two volume of hydrogen and which combine with the one volume of oxygen so to give it two volumes of water without leaving any unreacted oxygen in it okay so which gives it two volumes of water means if we consider the again the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to produce a water we see that two volumes of hydrogen two volumes of hydrogen combine um, to give a Com uh, combine with one volume of oxygen to give two volumes of water without leaving any unreacted oxygen so this is about avogadro law this is the statement statement of uh, avogadro law equal volumes of gases here equal volumes of gases to only just uh, taking of two volume of hydrogen it is not so one volume of hydrogen and here one volume of hydrogen they are taking equal volumes of uh, gases here one volume of oxygen is also taken they are kept at same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of inside this it should contain equal number of molecules so this is about the Avogadro law. Next law is Dalton's atomic theory. Okay, next law is Dalton's atomic theory. In this the origin of idea that matter is composed of small indivisible particles called atomio okay which is given by the dalton okay so again by a lot of experiments in 1808 dalton published a new system of chemical philosophy okay in which he proposed that the first one is matter consists of indivisible atoms okay first one is please note it down matter consists of indivisible atoms okay and the second one is in that in his proposed system he uh, he explained the following points and the next one is all the atoms of a given element all the atoms of a given element have identical properties including identical mass atoms of different elements differ in mass atoms of different elements differ in mass so all the atoms of a given element whatever the atoms consider the sodium element all the atoms inside the sodium they are having identical properties including identical mass they are having identical properties and they are having own properties and their own mass atoms of different elements are different in mass okay for this statement consider the example like uh, so you consider this as a sodium and this is a carbon okay uh, this is the element okay this is also an element in the element which is element which is made up of the atom so all the atoms present in the sodium element it is having the identical properties and identical uh, what are identical properties and identical mass like a carbon also having so atoms of different elements uh, the atoms of different element this is also atom atoms of different elements differ in mass here sodium which is having its own mass and carbon having its own mass so this is about the second one and the next one is third in that compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio 
when come what do you mean by compound means which is when two or more elements combine we compound when they are combined with each other so which gives a compound here uh, uh -huh. compounds are formed compounds are formed when atoms of different elements when atoms of when atoms of different elements differ when atoms of different elements combine in a in a fixed ratio okay compounds are formed when atoms of different elements differ atoms of different element combine in a fixed ratio it is not that So, compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio. And the fourth one, chemical reactions involve uh, recognition of at atoms, reorganization of atoms. These are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Chemical reactions involve reorganization of atoms. reorganization of what atoms these are neither created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction these are neither be created nor be destroyed okay in a chemical reaction so dalton's theory could explain the laws of chemical combination so uh, from first i will explain you this is the dalton's atomic theory in that he explained some of the points so first one is matter consists of indivisible atoms that we know correct and the second one is all the atoms of a given element have a identical properties including identical mass atoms of different elements differ in a mass and the next one is compounds are formed <coughs> when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio so chemical reactions involve reorganization of atoms these are neither be created nor be destroyed reorganization of atoms means again organizing once again so this is about 